नमस्कार आज अपन प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस इनिबिटर हा जो एंटी मैक्रोबीएल ग्रुप है जे एंटी मैक्रोबीएल एजेंट्स प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस इनिबिट कर अशा ग्रुप मधला मैक्रोलाइड नावाचार टॉपिक आज आप डिस्कस करना आहोत द मैक्रोलाइड्स दीज आर द एंटीबायोटिक वी यूज फॉर वेरियस इन्फेक्शन कॉज बाय ऑर्गेनिजम्स ओके एंड दिस मैक्रोलाइड्स आर इफेक्टिव ड्यू टू देअर इनिबिशन ऑफ प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस एक्शन दे इनिबिट प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस इन द बैक्टेरिया एंड ड्यू टू दिस दे इंटरफेयर विथ द ग्रोथ ऑफ द बैक्टेरिया दे इनिबिट द ग्रोथ ऑफ बैक्टेरिया दैट्स वाय मैक्रोलाइड्स आर कॉल्ड एज बैक्टेरो स्टैटिक एंटीमाइक्रोबियल एजेंट so there are some microlides uh, which we use for uh, antibiotic point of view to treat various infection and there are some non antibiotic microlides also so microlides which we use uh, against various infection we have erythromycin roxithromycin azithromycin clarithromycin while non antibiotic microlides you have to remember tacrolimus and sirolimus so this non antibiotic microlide we use mainly for immunosuppression point of view so uh, very few drugs are available uh, regarding microlides we have erythromycin roxithromycin azithromycin and clarithromycin so this azithromycin is very commonly used in day to day clinical practice uh, regarding upper respiratory tract infection mainly caused by gram positive organisms coming to the next mechanism of action we have discussed in detail about the uh, mechanism of action of various protein synthesis inhibitor in tetracycline uh, video so in that we have discussed uh, this micro lights these are bacteriostatic uh, drugs and they act by inhibiting protein synthesis so which type of protein synthesis inhibited we will discuss that please remember these microlides bind with the 50s ribosome and this microlide inhibit translocation step so they inhibit translocation of elongated peptide chain from a to p site so microlide inhibits uh, protein synthesis by inhibiting translocation step by inhibiting translocation step they inhibit transfer of elongated peptide chain from a to p site and due to that due to that ribosome fails to move along the mrna to expose next codon and protein synthesis is uh, inhibited so these are bacteriostatic drugs all protein synthesis inhibitors are bacteriostatic except amino glycosides and streptogramins so microlides are bacteriostatic drugs so other two drugs which also act by inhibiting translocation step we have discussed mnemonic tet merit list sml so s stands for streptogramin m for microlide and l for lincosamide so uh, along with microlides streptogramins and lincosamide these are the other protein synthesis inhibitor which act by translocation step so this is important microlide act by inhibiting translocation of peptide chain from a to p site this is the mechanism of action important for mcq point of view coming to the antibacterial spectrum or antimicrobial spectrum so speaking about microlides microlides are considered as a narrow spectrum uh, antimicrobial drugs they mainly effective against uh, gram positive organism and very few gram negative bacteria are susceptible susceptible to microlides and the spectrum of microlides is uh, overlaps with spectrum of penicillin g okay spectrum of penicillin g so in many cases where penicillin g is contraindicated for example due to hypersensitivity reaction point of view in that case alternative drug which is uh, which we can use is one of the microlides so they are effective against streptococcal infection staphylococcal infection clostridial uh, infection cornibacteria 
diphtheria, then listeria monocytogen, influenza, H influenza, H dupri, Neisseria, okay, Mycoplasma, Legionella, Chlamydia. These are susceptible to microlite. So most of the organisms are gram positive organism and very few negative gram negative bacteria are susceptible to microlites. Okay. So enterobacteriaceae family, other gram negative bacilli and bacterial fragilis are not inhibited by microlites. So we have to remember microlites having broad, uh, sorry, a narrow spectrum. Okay. Uh, some microlites are effective against uh, additional organism or some microlites have additional uh, effect against various organism in that we have to remember about the additional spectrum of clarithromycin and azithromycin. So additional spectrum of clarithromycin you have to remember clarithromycin is effective against MAC. MAC is MAC is a mycobacterium AVM complex which is responsible for a tuberculosis. It is a atypical mycobacteria and also clarithromycin is effective against other atypical mycobacteria. So tuberculosis is caused by uh, mainly mycobacterium tuberculi bacilli, but there are some atypical mycobacteria which are also responsible for tuberculosis like mycobacterium AVM complex, mycobacterium cancer, mycobacterium scrofulosium. So uh, clarithromycin uh, is effective against atypical mycobacteria including MAC and also it is effective against mycobacterium lepri okay clarithromycin also effective against some anaerobes but not effective against anaerobic organism bacteroid fragilis so against some anaerobes uh, clarithromycin is effective that's why this h pylori it is a gram negative anaerobic organism against which clarithromycin is effective that's why in h pylori in this peptic ulcer regimen one of the drug we can use clarithromycin okay so this is about clarithromycin azithromycin this is more effective against legionella infection mycoplasma okay which produce a typical pneumonia sexually transmitted disease chlamydia against calimatobacterium granulomatis also called as now it is called as klebsiella granulomatis responsible for granuloma inguinally, H. ducri responsible for chancroid and MAC infection. So for MAC infection, clarithromycin and azithromycin, these are the antibiotics and microlides we can use. So azithromycin, uh, in addition to uh, effectiveness against some gram positive and few gram negative organism, it is also effective in various uh, sexually transmitted diseases such as uh, chancroid caused by H. dupri, uh, then Calimatobacterium granulomatis, or uh, um, it is also called as Klebsiella granulomatis, responsible for granuloma inguinally, uh, then chlamydial infection, okay, uh, uh, spirochete, and uh, this chlamydial infection, it is also sexually transmitted infection. So, in some sexually transmitted infection, there is a role of azithromycin, okay. Uh, erythromycin is obtained from the streptomyces erythus, while all other microlides are the semi-synthetic derivatives. Okay, coming to the pharmacokinetic, erythromycin is acid labile, while other microlides are acid stable. And due to this reason, we use erythromycin in enteric coated form. Okay. Then erythromycin we use in salt form. Three salts available in the market, erythromycin histolate, erythromycin stearate, and erythromycin ethyl succinate. So erythromycin we mainly use in salt form. So erythromycin histolate, erythromycin stearate, erythromycin ethyl succinate, these are the salts of erythromycin we use. Well absorbed orally, all these microlides. 
very important point food interferes with absorption of azithromycin so while giving azithromycin it should be administered one hour before meal or two hour after food this is very important it is one of the commonly used antimicrobial drug in day to day clinical practice so you have to uh, remember food interfere with absorption of azithromycin so while prescribing azithromycin we can advise patient to take it one hour before meal or two hours after the food so that there will be less interaction between um, azithromycin and the food among all these microlide azithromycin is the longest acting microlide that's why once daily administration is sufficient with uh, azithromycin it is due to slow release of azithromycin from the tissue so single dose we can use in chancroid penicillin produces n gonorrhea so in this sexual transmitted disease a single dose of azithromycin is also effective excretion erythromycin roxithromycin and azithromycin mainly excreted through bile while clarithromycin excreted through bile as well as uh, urine okay so most of the macrolide eliminated through bile coming to dose and frequency uh, they are more common more commonly used antimicrobial drugs so uh, many doctors are knowing about this uh, frequency and dose related with uh, microlides erythromycin 250 to 500 mg is the dose we use 6 hourly roxithromycin dose is 150 to 300 mg we use roxithromycin bd clarithromycin dose is 250 we have to use bd and azithromycin is longest acting microlide so 500 mg od dose is sufficient adverse effect a uh, very important point so erythromycin uh, stimulates uh, all these microlides uh, have uh, additional action they stimulates motilin receptor so peristalsis is increased that's why uh, this uh, with this microlide uh, some patient may experience diarrhea as an uh, adverse effect so in though it is narrow spectrum uh, diarrhea is seen it is due to stimulation of motilin receptor okay other causes other reasons for diarrhea uh, related with antibiotic when we use antibiotic mainly broad spectrum antibiotic uh, there is destruction of normal bacterial flora and due to that pathogenic organism grow and it may result in diarrhea and that is known as super infection and it is more common with broad spectrum antibiotic like tetracycline okay uh, erythromycin is to let uh, this is the a uh, salt form of erythromycin uh, when we use erythromycin histolate it is associated with characteristic adverse effect and this is known as acute cholestatic hepatitis especially when we use erythromycin histolate salt in pregnant females in pregnant females so it is due to hypersensitivity reaction to this histolate it is not seen with erythromycin stearate it erythromycin ethyl succinate it is specifically seen with uh, histolate salt and it is uh, especially uh, seen when we use this uh, in pregnant females so acute cholestatic hepatitis is a characteristic adverse effect of erythromycin histolate okay it generally starts 10 to 20 days after treatment and characterized by GIT symptoms nausea vomiting abdominal cramps pain often mimics due uh, that of acute polycystitis and uh, the symptoms are followed shortly by jaundice which may be accompanied by fever leukocytosis eosinophilia elevated transaminases in plasma so this is the characteristic adverse effect important for mcq point of view also and just i have told it is not seen with other salt of erythromycin such as stearate ethyl succinate iv erythromycin uh, rarely produce this dose dependent reversible ototoxicity uh, erythromycin clarithromycin these are the macrolide may produce some um, cardiac problem like cardiac arrhythmia qt prolongation with ventricular tachycardia so these are the adverse effect of macrolide antibiotics so you have to remember diarrhea 
due to stimulation of motilitin receptor. Erythromycin is slowly associated with uh, acute cholestatic hepatitis. Then IV erythromycin rarely produces phototoxicity and erythromycin, clarithromycin sometimes produce uh, this arrhythmia, QT prolongation, ventricular tachycardia. Drug interaction, uh, erythromycin, clarithromycin and roxithromycin, these are the inhibitor of CYP3A4 enzyme. So metabolism of many drugs is inhibited and the risk of toxicity of other drugs is increased. In contrast to that, azithromycin is not interfere with this. Uh, azithromycin does not inhibit CYP3A4 enzyme, so drug interactions are uh, negligible with azithromycin. So this is additional advantage of azithromycin. It is long acting. This is one of the addition. Um, this is one of the advantage. Then second advantage, uh, spectrum is uh, broad as compared to erythromycin, and third. Uh, negligible drug interaction. That's why among macrolides, azithromycin is very popular drug uh, in day-to-day -day clinical practice. Coming to the uses of macrolides, mainly useful in gram-positive infection. May cause, okay, uh, upper respiratory tract infection caused by uh, gram-positive organism, lower respiratory tract infection caused by gram-positive infection. So coming to the uses, uh, first choice drug uh, in various conditions, microlytes, we consider as a first choice drug in CLAW. CLAW stands for chancroid, legiola infection, offing cuff, and, and atypical pneumonia. So CLAW is the mnemonic to remember first choice uh, 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 first line you uh, microlide uh, use as a first choice drug in this condition. So, chancroid, legionella infection, atypical pneumonia caused by mycoplasma and whooping cup caused by B pertussis. As an alternative to penicillin, uh, when there is allergic to hypersensitivity reaction to penicillin, microlide we can use. In streptococcal infection, community acquired pneumonia, H influenza infection, prophylaxis in case of rheumatic fever and subacute bacterial endocarditis. For diphtheria, acute stage as well as for carrier seven day treatment, we can use. For tetanus, syphilis, gonorrhea, we can use. For leptospirosis, also we can use microlate. So. These are the uh, second line uses or uh, these are the condition where we use microlide when penicillin is uh, contraindicated, okay? Azithromycin is the drug of choice uh, for the treatment of uh, cholera and chlamydia in pregnancy as tetracyclines are contraindicated. In H. pylori induced peptic ulcer, in leprosy and in MAC infection, we can use clarithromycin. Azithromycin is also alternative microlide in MAC infection. For Campylobacter jejuni induced diarrhea in pediatric population, we can use erythromycin. In adult, we prefer furoquinolones. Topical erythromycin is uh, useful in the management of acne. Macrolides can be used to increase the peristalsis due to their uh, agonistic effect on motilin receptor in post-operative paralytic ileus, diabetic gastroparesis. Pyramycin, azithromycin, clarithromycin are also effective against uh, toxoplasmosis. It is one of the parasitic infection caused by toxoplasma gondii. Pyramycin is the microlide which is considered as drug of choice for toxoplasmosis in pregnancy. In treatment of cryptosporidium, it is again parasitic infection. Uh, we use uh, this azithromycin along with nitazoxanide. Nitazoxanide. For babesiosis, it is caused by parasite babesia, azithromycin and atovacon combination is preferred over clindamycin and quinine combination. Then 
macrolides decrease inflammatory mediators and have anti-inflammatory action and uh, they also have immunomodulatory effect due to this low dose microlide therapy is under trial in the treatment of chronic airway inflammatory disorder and the last use pedoxamine sorry pedoxomycin is the non absorbed microlide we use in the treatment of costadium difficile infection so these are the uses of microlides mainly uh, you have to remember related with gram positive infection point of view microlides we preferred in gram positive infection so in uses you have to remember first choice for microlide in claw infection microlide considered as first choice in claw that is chancroid legionella infection or typical pneumonia and whooping cup as an alternative to penicillin we use microlide in streptococcal infection community acquired pneumonia diphtheria tetanus syphilis gonorrhea leptospirosis in pregnancy we know that tetracycline is contraindicated so for treating cholera chlamydia we can use microlide microlide considered as safer in pregnancy uh, clarithromycin due to their due to its additional spectrum we use clarithromycin in h pylori in dyspeptic ulcer mac infection and leprosy azithromycin is an alternative microlide in mac infection uh, we have discussed campylate bacter jejuni may responsible for diarrhea and in children to treat this uh, diarrhea caused by campylobacter jejuni azithromycin is the uh, oh, sorry erythromycin is the drug we can use for acne also we use topical erythromycin on um, other uses point of view you have to remember in post operative paralytic ileus diabetic gastroparesis we can use microlide due to their um, uh, agonistic effect on motilin receptor they stimulate motilin receptor some parasitic infection in some parasitic infection we use microlides so that toxoplasmosis cryptosporidium babesiosis in that we use and due to their anti inflammatory action these microlides are under trial in the treatment of chronic inflammatory uh, disorder related with airway Fidoxomycin uh, is a topical microlide. Uh, it is not absorbed from the intestine, so uh, mainly produce action in large intestine, and it is approved for the treatment of Clostridium difficile infection. So this is about microlide. We have discussed microlide in detail. So important long question regarding CC CCMP exam point of view and. Uh, long question may be asked like classify microlides uh, mention mechanism of action uses adverse effect and drug interaction related with microlides so please go through that if you have any difficulty you can message me thank you